let's start straight away with one of the island I like the most, that is Marathon Island. And that is the island also where I'm spending part of my stay in the Florida Keys on this trip. But let's start with a positive point, beaches. I love them. Uh, there is a sombrero beach, you know, a typical Palm beach, uh, stunning with uh, uh, volleyball courts, uh, playgrounds if you are there with kids. So plenty of things to do uh, besides staying on the beach. And then you can go to Bahia Beach, which is after the Seven Miles Bridge, uh, rated as one of the best uh, beaches here in the Florida Keys. And about attractions now, you know, Seven Miles Bridge, it's the iconic bridge of the Florida Keys that you can see uh, from uh, Marathon Island. You can go also on the old bridge which is a, a pretty unique experience from here and then you can visit the turtle hospital uh, another unique experience uh, you can go to the air museum uh, which is free you can go to the dolphin center so you see how many things you can do here in marathon so certainly you won't get bored and if you start getting bored you can also think to go to Key West, which is 50 miles from here, or you go north to Isla Morada, Big Pine Keys, another beach there. So you see how many things you can do here. There is also a good selection of bars, restaurant. Uh, there is my favorite taqueria here. It's very inexpensive and uh, lovely food. You can see all of these things to do and places to go into my guide, but I'm gonna put a link in the video description as well. Now about the bad point, there is no really island center. There are just five lanes going through the island um, and that's pretty much it and um, you know there are restaurants on the left and right side the supermarkets uh, resorts of course uh, so there is not a place really where you can go and walk on the night but that's pretty common to the Florida Keys except Key West of course <laughs> The southernmost island of the Florida Key is a Key West. The most beautiful island, I must say, because the historic ascent is so gorgeous. Plenty of historical houses like the one here on my back. I'll show you a little bit around how beautiful it is. Unfortunately, it's also the most expensive island to be. But in my opinion, you should spend at least one night here. And if your budget doesn't allow you to stay into the historical center, there are other areas where you can book your accommodation. I've actually done a video about Key West and also there is a full guide about the best areas to stay in Key West that you can check out. But let me show you a little bit around, starting from Duval Street, which is the main street here. And uh, this is where it's all happening, especially at night. It gets so noisy around here. So if you book your accommodation the historical center, be sure to stay at least a couple of streets down from Duval Street because otherwise your nice sleep won't be as good. I'm walking on the old railway bridge connecting the Bahia Key to the Big Pine Key. Bahia Key is famous because it's a state park with beautiful beaches, there is also a camping area, it has plenty of nature where you can walk or you can take your bike here, absolutely stunning but there is no accommodation on this island besides camping of course. And if you're looking for some accommodation you should stay in Big Pine Key but you can see there in my background and this is also one of the best places to stay if you are into a more of a quiet and secluded stay. But a few accommodations, uh, bed and breakfast. Um, there is also a long beach, but it's more of a uh, walking beach. It's not really for swimming. For swimming, come over here. It's only one mile. It's um, just a tiny bridge up to Bahia Park. And uh, you can take your car, you will be here in no time. And 
here I am in Vela Morado. If you want to use more of a Caribbean pronunciation, I just use Isla Morada, which is the actual name. But you see on my back is the big red lobster, which is a bit of an iconic here in Isla Morada. Isla Morada, compared to Marathon Island, is quieter and also cheaper. The layout is very typical. There is a, a big road going through, and then there are the resorts, attractions on the left, on the right. And probably the biggest is the Theatre of the Sea, which is right in the middle of the Isla Morada. But there are other attractions, uh, and you can go kayaking, of course, and other things. This is a very good place for families that are traveling with small kids because um, it's quiet, you know, there are many resorts with uh, swimming pools uh, where you can relax with the family, perfect time. Unfortunately, and that's the biggest drawback, it doesn't have really public beaches. For that, you would have to drive to Marathon Island, which is a bit of a drive, it's about 50 minutes. And now I keep driving because I want to go to the next island I want to talk about. Well, it's not a coincidence that you see here on my back all of these diving boats because Key Largo is the most famous place for diving into the Florida Keys. So if you are into diving, definitely this is your place because there are a ton of diving centers that will take you to plenty of diving sites. This is one of the most beautiful places in Florida and probably in the USA as well. Another good reason to be here in Key Largo is for fishing. There are plenty of fishing charters where you can book one or two days in advance, no worries at all. This island is also cheaper compared to all of the other islands that I've talked in this video. And in very respect, it's another good reason to stay here. The drawback is that you will be right at the start of the Florida Keys, two hours return from Marathon Island, four hours return from uh, Key West. So you won't experience that nice feeling of the Florida Keys here. But in saying that, you know, if you are into diving, that's a place to be. Now, keep in mind there are the 800 islands in the Florida Keys, and I've mentioned only five of them. It has to be said there are only accommodation in a few of them. Now, I have a full guide to the Florida Keys that you can read and download from the video description, and I highly suggest to go there and check it out because uh, in that guide, I've inserted also a few suggestions on accommodations to stay and other places to visit. And now look at what's on our next week video.